potters or all squares and sidewalks will be covered with vegetation. Where there are plants, there are herbivorous animals, and where there is prey, there is always a predator. The surviving dogs will cross with the wolves that come to the former cities. Without us, the air will become much cleaner. In some cities, the visibility range will become several times longer. Cities like Dubai and Las Vegas will be buried in sand. The desert will take what belongs to it. So will all of nature. After 300 years, metal constructions such as the Eiffel Tower or steel bridges will start to break, since for all these years there won't be anybody around to paint and protect from corrosion. Steel rods in armed concrete will bloat up to three times of their initial thickness, and the last tall buildings will go down. Vast swamps, which formerly occupied America, will reappear, and hundreds of bird and animal species will return to their unfairly taken home. Large marine animals will also be very glad not to see us. In the absence of humans, whales will thrive and reproduce to the maximum of the ocean's capacity to feed them. This is how modern cities will look after 500 years without people. After 10,000 years, the only reminiscence that people will hear someday will be the remains of a few stone constructions, among which the pyramids in Egypt and the Great Wall of China. Mount Rushmore National Memorial will be there almost intact for several hundreds of thousands of years. In 50 million years, plastic bottles and pieces of broken glass will be the last traces of our civilization. In another 50 million years, they will be gone as well. As you can see, our planet is quite sturdy and can get rid of all of our trash. If after 300 million years or later there will be a new rational species, they might not even notice there was a civilization before. So, our planet can perfectly do without us, but we can't without her. Save the planet. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video.